बदल लगन थल कैले तिम्रो माया शंक लगन थल बदल लगन थल इन द जॉइंटिया हिल्स विकास क्षेत्री इज गेटिंग रेडी फॉर द डे अहेड शंक लगन थल व्हाइल चिल्ड्रन एल्सवेयर आर पुटिंग ऑन देयर स्कूल यूनिफॉर्म्स विकास इज गेटिंग ड्रेस्ड इन हिज वर्क क्लोथ्स Bikash and his friend Lakpa live next to a coal mine and this is where they spend their days underground. Hamara naam Lakpa hai. Hamara na Umar. Umar. Tera hai. Tera na 14. Hamara naam Bikash hai. Hamara Umar utna hai. Wanar. Kitna hai? Kaji hai? 12 baba. 12. 12 ho gaye. It's a steep, slippery climb to the bottom of the pit. But the real journey starts once they get there. In the Jaintia Hills, they call this a rat hole. Yeah, what is that? What is that? Bikash and Lakpa, who's also known as Maklo, slowly make their way through a narrow labyrinth of tunnels stretching 50 meters into the earth. Aaj jo hai na, ab to aur kuch hai zero da. Aise na baat kar ke aise na baat kar ke. When they come across other miners dragging carts of coal, they have to squeeze against the tunnel walls to let them pass. The boys will spend hours at a time cutting coal down here. hot and low on oxygen they have no training no protective clothing and no compensation if they get injured kaisa lagta hai andar jaane mein dar lagta hai ke ke kyun dar lagta hai taal se marega kya kya hoga patthar girega udhar se upar se danger ho sakta hai abhi jab main gir jayega na kya रास्ता रास्ता में ऐसे ही फटा हुआ है ऐसे ऐसे उसका पता नहीं कब गिरेगा दिस इज जस्ट वन ऑफ थाउजेंड ऑफ स्मॉल प्राइवेटली ओन्ड माइंड इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट ऑफ मेघालय Industry is unregulated and unsafe and relies on cheap migrant labor to do its dirty work. Have you ever seen any accidents here? Oh, udhar mein upar mein dekha uthu kal bola tha na udhar mein dekha aur hamra baba marne ke time mein dekha. Did you see what happened to your father yourself? Uthu aankh mein gal gaya tha. Marne ke time mein aankh nahi tha. खाने <laughs> The need to eat is what attracts desperately poor migrants from Nepal and Bangladesh to these miserable mining camps. They come despite the lack of running water, schools and doctors and the daily threat of death and injury.
not all the children in this small community are working. Those that do are the breadwinners for their families. Even Bishal, Bakash's 10-year-old younger brother, works here. Other kids your own age aren't working here, but you have to. How, how do you feel about that? I still remember that day when I came in here and I was talking to the first kid and the kid was telling me, I don't like what I do, uh, but I have no choice. And those words keep ringing over the years. For the past seven years, Hasina Kabe has been a tireless and fearless advocate for the child minors of Meghalaya. Why is it it has to happen? Why is it somebody not doing anything? I decided that it becomes something that we need to take it up and then we started the process. Hasina is the leader of Impulse, a non-government organization that combats human trafficking throughout the northeast of India. She's been told that children here are working in the mines and wants to find out more about Bikash's family and his younger brother, Bishal. Bikash? She knows the family originally came from Nepal. Her plan is to encourage the parents to allow her to take the boys back to school there. The boy's father looks on quietly. He's already been warned that he's broken the law by allowing his children to work. Even though the children are here with their parents, Hasina says this is still considered trafficking. Because these parents are already taken money from these mine uh, managers, which largely the child has no benefit at all. So definitely it is directly a, a transaction of money involved. That is trafficking. Hasina has heard that the boy's parents are frequently drunk. She finds empty liquor bottles strewn on the ground outside their home. Now she wants to talk to their mother. Hasina asks for permission to take Bikash and Bishal. The parents know there's the unspoken threat that resistance could get them into trouble. Five years ago, after a number of detailed surveys, Impulse estimated there were up to 70,000 children working in the mines of Meghalaya. Employing children under the age of 14 is illegal, but Hasina says the state government has done very little to stamp it out without being pushed. So we wrote more than 60 letters to the government with the findings and still we did not get any response. And instead I still remember the day when the government wrote back to us and said, well, you have to present the names of the 70,000 children. If you cannot do it in the next 15 days, then your organization is going to be shut down. It doesn't seem to matter what evidence is presented. The state government is reluctant to admit that the laws about child labor are widely disregarded. 
the conditions in the mines are bad enough for adults, why do you have small children working in these mines? Are these, is, is this acceptable to you? It is not acceptable. There is a lot of ambiguity in this allegation also. There are many, many studies that many, many organizations claim to have undertaken. The credibility and the authority of their findings is, is yet to be established. Hasina's organization took these photos of obviously underage children working in the mines. As part of their research, they interviewed 1,200 child workers. We are yet to establish whether these children as mine owners and actual mine workers that we have interviewed say that these kids are actually not involved in mining. Now, as a government... You know that's not always true. You know that's not always true. I have my suspicions. I have my sus suspicions, but I need to verify that on facts. These mines are owned by a lot of powerful people, people who are actually ruling the state. So in such a situation, there will always be negligence of taking any policy forward, and they'll never do it very often. It's hard to find out who owns individual mines harder still to meet them. People here have told me that the person who owns the mine, Bikash and Marklo Workin, is a former member of the State Assembly. But when we asked him for an interview, he claimed he didn't own any mines. We approached six other mine owners for an interview, one of them the brother of an MP in the central government. All of them refused. Bikash or Bishal ka hai? Jaiga na abhi? Huh? Ready ho gaya na? Jaane ke liye? Huh? Kapra ka hai? Huh? Ka hai kapra? Ab andar me jaega? Oh. Huh? Or do no? Oh, acha. Hasina has made arrangements to take Bakash and his brother back to Nepal. She's heard about Bakash's friend Maklo and wants to speak to him before she goes. Unlike Bakash and his brother, Maklo is part of a close-knit family and doesn't want to go to school. It will take more time to resolve his case. Tomorrow morning, Maklo will be crawling back into the rat hole without his friend Bakash. <laughs> Bakash and Bashal will be on their way to a new life in Nepal. Acha bhai, ha? Namaste. Ta ham log wo dono acha school jayega to acha hoga na? Uska uska future ke liye bhi thik hai na? Ha? To ham log khabar denge us, ha? Acha. Tata manis. Bye bye bolo na. Bye bye. Bye bye. The rescue was just the first step on a long and uncertain journey for the boys. <laughs> After registering Bakash and Bishal's case in a nearby town, it's a mad rush to catch a train. A six-hour drive on roads clogged with trucks carrying coal from the mines. Sit, sit, 
सिर्फ ले जाएगा फिर रो जब ये ट्रेन रुकेगा क्या करेगा कहा में नेपाल जाएगा नेपाल जाएगा This is Siliguri. Finally, we're close to the border with Nepal. And for boys used to rickety bamboo stairs, there are more wonders in store. At a local hotel, the boys enjoy their first hot shower and then change into some new clothes before breakfast. सुनो विकास क्या बारह होने होने से क्या करना चाहता है डॉक्टर बनना चाहता है और विशाल पायलट जस्ट अक्रॉस द बॉर्डर विथ नेपाल देर अ चिल्ड्रेन्स शेल्टर रन बाय हर सीनर्स पार्टनर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हियर माइटी नेपाल नमस्ते गोविंद नमस्ते ये दोनों हैं विकास और विशा नमस्ते कस्टडी ऑफ द बॉयज टू माइट इन नेपाल हु विल डिसाइड देर फ्यूचर नॉर्मली द प्रायोरिटी इज टू री यूनाइट द चिल्ड्रेन विथ एनी फैमिली दे हैव हियर But her Sina is worried about what could happen if their father returns to Nepal. That's a concern that he might pick them up again and you know disappear because they've been in a migration. No one here wants to see the boys back in a coal mine. The decision is made to put them in a boarding school. ये ये स्कूल है ये भाई सब बच्चा है ना देखो यहाँ में जाएगा स्कूल में हाँ Hasina isn't sure Impulse can raise enough money for a scholarship to send the boys here but she pleads their case So I know there's a need which is very urgent that they need to be put in school because and the fees are reduced So that means the boys will be going to the school Yes they will be going to the school yes. Okay so they'll stay here with you yeah. Yeah, you'll be with them तुम यहां अभी यहां पर रहेगा हां ये मिस देखो मिस को देखो हां सुनो मिशा ये मिस को हां और ये सामान सो दीस आर द थिंग्स ओके हां हम लोग जाएगा हां विशा बाय बाय हम लोग हां एवरीथिंग कनेक्टिंग विकास एंड विशाल टू देयर ओल्ड लाइफ हैज वैनिश्ड फ्रॉम वन डे टू द नेक्स्ट ऑलराइट विशा हां And the last links to that life, the people who brought them here are leaving. Okay. Okay, come. Just keep. 
This morning, Bakasha's dreams of school are finally coming true. Hmm? <laughs> The boys have had a little schooling in the past. Now the principal needs to work out how far behind they are. They have a lot to catch up on, but they have plenty of time. Their days in the rat holes of an Indian coal mine are finally behind them. Can you imagine when you grow up ever going back to work in the mines? <laughs> I'm not going to